Hi, this is Wiley Sharp with Denison Yachting, and today I just want to do a quick video walkthrough on this 2016 Fountain Peugeot Helia 44 Evolution. Uh, this is the only boat on the market in North America, the only, I'm sorry, the only Fountain Peugeot Helia Evolution owner's version on the market in North America. I uh, hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. If you have any questions, send me an email or leave a comment down below. And I'll have the uh, full spec sheet in the description below. And as always, if you like my video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks and have a good day. As we come up the uh, Port Sugar Scoop, you'll see the uh, first swim ladder. There's a swim ladder on each, uh, each sugar scoop there. You've also got a nice grab rail. As you come up, you've got your stern shower there. Below this hatch is the engine. Boat's equipped with a pair of Volvos. They're the upgraded motors. You'll notice the uh, uh, teak sit dial flooring. It's actually a cork flooring. Electric winch for the uh, dinghy davits. We're gonna come back to the cockpit. I'm gonna go up to the foredeck first. One really nice thing about the uh, Fontaine Peugeot is they use these recess hatches back in the cockpit. As you make your way up, you'll notice that the weather deck is nice and wide, and there's also grab rails everywhere. There's both port and starboard bow seats. Nice large trampoline. This boat's uh, fitted out with four peaks for storage. So there's your port side one right there. Here's a quick look at your starboard four peak. Powerful uh, twin spreader rig. And then up here we've got two large four deck lockers. The uh, generator is located up here as well as the anchor windlass and uh, chain locker, all that good stuff. As we walk around here to the starboard um, starboard weather deck, once again, you'll see nice and high, uh, nice and high lifelines, really, really wide. Grab rails everywhere. Here we've got the helm station. You'll notice all of the sail control lines lead right back here. We've got an electric winch for uh, easing up, uh, making the sail handling a little, handling a little bit easier. Up top, we've got the uh, bikini lounge, sun pads, as well as a settee there. Plenty of room for two or three people to sit here at the helm seat. You'll notice after that, we've got two solar panels. And then we've got our full Raymarine electronics package here. The throttles, the steering, the VHF, as well as the engine uh, control panels. Coming down from the helm, it's uh, two very wide steps. And you can see the uh, settee here, or I'm sorry, the uh, cockpit table with plenty of seating for, you know, you can fit eight people there, as well as a settee aft, and then one to starboard. And there's plenty of storage underneath all of these lockers, or underneath all these settees as well. We got our starboard swim platform with the extra swim ladder. 
engine compartment with Volvo motor. Boat's equipped with a cockpit ice maker, as well as a cockpit refrigerator. We're gonna go ahead and go take a walk around inside next. One of the first things you'll notice as you enter the salon is there's no threshold that you have to pass. So that just gives the uh, boat a very natural flow from the cockpit to the salon. You'll also notice as soon as you walk in how bright and airy it is. The salon definitely feels larger than it does on a, than, than a 44 foot catamaran. On the port aft side, we've got our U-shaped galley. It's got a dual basin sink with a drying area. It's a Corian countertop, so it's nice and durable. And there's tons of storage underneath. Over here, we've got the Eno um, oven. Storage below that. And then a three burner Eno uh, cooktop. In the galley, we've got this uh, isotherm deep freezer, which is nice. I'll just open it up, you'll see. It's got four different drawers, so organizing your, your frozen stuff for a long passage is very easy on this boat. Coming forward of the galley and to the port of the uh, settee in the salon is your nav station. Here you've got a, a, a controller for your fusion system, as well as your water tank gauge, fuel tank gauge, battery voltmeter, a Raymarine VHF. There's also one up at the helm station too. Below that, we've got the control for the uh, Spectra water maker, as well as one of the air conditionings, your main 12 volt panel, as well as the remote spark start for your own end generator. Now there's plenty of storage underneath the settees here, as well as in the coffee table. Starboard aft on the boat, we've got two isotherm drawer style uh, refrigerator units. Storage behind here. And then up here, we've got our main 110 volt panel. So this is where you control, you know, turn the air conditionings on, all of that good stuff. Here we've got the Magnum inverter uh, control panel. And then below that, one of the, uh, one of the, um, cruise air air conditioning controls. Now the owner of this boat outfitted it with an upgraded sound system. So there's Bose speakers throughout. There's also a uh, projector to set up in the cockpit to do movie nights. Moving down here to starboard, we've got the owner's stateroom. I really love what they did with the evolution and changing the, uh, the owner's stateroom. Nice walk around queen berth. Very bright and airy with that big window on the outboard side as well as the window on the aft side. You've got a small desk there and then a huge wardrobe for hanging up. I'm going to kind of crawl back here by the berth and I just want to point out how wide the uh, opening in the bulkhead is here. Usually on a sailing catamaran, this aft bulkhead in the master is about half the size. And this just kind of goes along with the whole design concept of the Helia 44 Evolution, keeping everything bright, open, and airy. Tons of storage throughout. Coming forward, we've got the master head with a separate shower stall, a large sink, plenty of storage throughout. As you can access this storage locker through here, and it's a great place to keep your spares without having to dig them up. And then in here, we've got our uh, separate uh, head basin. We're gonna cut back through the salon and go check out the two guest cabins. So 
So you've got a lot of storage in this aft guest cabin on the inboard side, as well as the, uh, the aft berth. It's similar in size to the, um, it's the same size actually as the starboard aft berth. Now there's storage underneath these beds, which is quite nice. And also bright and airy with those large windows down there. This is one of the two ensuite guest heads with a separate shower, an electric head. Moving forward, we've got the other guest cabin here. Now you'll see behind at the head of the bed there, there's also an access to the four peak if you wanted to uh, get anything large out of there. And then your emergency escape hatch. Nice large hanging locker right there. And then your final uh, final head on the boat. So with a separate shower stall and electric toilet. So that's the Fountain Peugeot Helia 44. If you have any questions on this book, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below, shoot me an email, and as always, if you like what I have to say, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks and have a good day.